What's going on everyone? Welcome back to another video. Um, today we are gonna try to repair one of my bag targets to extend the life of it. The target that I restored previously was this morale target uh, where basically I just bought a new bag, put the bag on it, and that extended the life of that target probably about six months. Now, the one that we're gonna be restoring today is this big block target. Uh, I picked that target up at Dunham's. It's been a good target. It's, it's lasted me probably about 12 months, and I'll show you guys what this target actually looks like right now. Um, this thing is beat up. So this is the existing target that we're gonna try to replace. Um, if I pull this out, you guys can kind of see what I'm dealing with here. It's basically a hole about as big as my fist on the front side, and then the back side is even worse. This is the Morel target that I replaced a while back. Now, the front held up pretty well, but this is the problem area on this target. So what I'm thinking is I'm going to take a bunch of this material and stuff it into those holes, and then hope that it'll extend the life of that target at least another 12 months. Uh, for this target repair, you cannot buy these big block bags. Um, so I just measured the target, went on Amazon, purchased the new bag, and we're gonna see if this will actually work. Now before I start pulling material out of one target, stuffing it in the other, I just wanna check to make sure that this bag that I ordered is gonna be the right size, or at least close to it. So with this, Basically, you just get a brand new bag. Look at that, this thing is, is huge. So you got your dots on one side, lungs on the other, lungs and heart. So pretty nice bag. Uh, definitely looks like it's gonna fit. And if I recall correctly, um, we are gonna have to poke some holes on the bottom and use some zip ties to actually lock the bag, um, similar to what we did on the Morel one. But let's go ahead, let's start pulling material out of the Morel, shoving it in the big block, and then we'll get this all put back together. Not sure if you guys are curious, but I've personally never knew what was actually inside a Morel target. Um, but being that we got this open, I'll basically show you what we're working with. So it's really just a bunch of random material, like that's a plastic. This is kind of like a fabric material. So really, I mean, you could probably really make your own target if you just bought the bag and had a bunch of, you know, this this like foam material, plastic material, old t-shirts, stuff it really good, and then you'd probably be good to go. But I say we're pretty good on this side. Um, we're gonna flip this over and stuff the other side real quick. Okay, so We've got about as much material as I can steal from that morale, uh, but it's definitely filled the gaps. Um, it definitely feels a lot more solid than it did before. Um, so now we're just basically gonna throw this thing in a bag and shoot it and see how it does. took a lot more work than I remember but trust me this is worth it I mean that morale bag is 60 70 bucks like I said this one's 50 that bag cost me $25 and essentially I got a new target so for 25 bucks even if it lasts me just the summer it was well worth the investment uh, but next we're gonna basically go ahead and seal up the bottom of this you do need to poke some holes and use some zip ties but I'll show you how I'm gonna do that. All right, so from here, like I said, you're basically just gonna poke holes. Just got an old tent stake laying around. Poke the first hole, and then just run a zip tie through it. Mm -hmm. 
So just like that, we got a brand new target. Um, this thing should hold up pretty nice. Uh, I do definitely like the yellow uh, over the white. Uh, but like I said, this is just a quick video, show you guys how to basically restore a target. Um, very simple, doesn't take a lot of work. Obviously you don't have to pull all that material out of this other target. I just had this thing laying around. It was basically gonna go in the trash. So I figured might as well use some of it to kind of seal off some of those holes that have been problematic areas. But uh, but yeah, quick fix, saved a little bit of money, $25 for the bag off Amazon, got it here in two days um, and a couple zip ties and you basically got a brand new bag target. But that's it for this video. If you guys got any questions, make sure you guys always leave me a comment. If you guys have not subscribed to the channel, please do so. Your guys' support greatly helps us out. And until next time, stay safe, stay healthy. We'll see you on the next one.